Hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of some research that we've been doing behind the scenes over the last few years. The last couple of years, I've actually been able to participate in this research and it has been eye-opening to say the least. So you may be asking, you know, what is this research that I'm talking about? Well, it relates to corn, diseases, and fungicides. And in particular, trying to determine when is the appropriate time to spray fungicides on corn to get the maximum return on your investment. So over the years, we've done a lot of research and we've found that with corn, it seems fungicides are being applied anywhere from VT to brown silk, some cases earlier or later, depending on the disease and the pressure. So wouldn't it be nice to have a model that would be able to share with you what the possibility of disease is in your field, but more importantly, to give you the appropriate time to spray that corn field to maximize your return on your investment. That particular model that I just mentioned is something that's part of this project. So for the last few years, we've been collecting literally millions of data points throughout the United States, tracking weather, rainfall, wind currents from the south, from the northeast, west, you name it. We've also been tracking spores throughout the United States and using specific equipment, specialized equipment, that will actually pull in the spores from all the different diseases of gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, southern rust, tar spot, to name a few. And with that information, it's feeding into this database, it's gonna be able to give us a pretty good predictability of when, if, those diseases was to hit our cornfields. As you know, certain diseases will require certain weather environments. Some like cold, wet, some like hot, dry, some like hot, wet. All of that information is being collected and fed into this database. We are also incorporating the 95 plus years worth of data that we've collected on our own genetics and feeding into this system as well. We've gotten to the point where we're even fine tuning it to where we can tell you based on the hybrid that you bought from Pioneer, which we appreciate by the way, when would be the best time to spray that? As an example, we have found that one hybrid that's pretty popular across the United States, that if you spray it at VT, you're probably gonna see a return on your investment. If you spray it at R1, the likelihood of seeing a return is very minimal to zero. If you wait to R2, R3, that brown silk, that's when that bumps back up to a very good return on your investment. So those of you who spray fungicides and maybe not have seen value in the past, is it because there was no value in the fungicide or was it because the timing was off? This research that we are doing as a company is always to try to benefit you as the farmer. So for those of you who are investing in Pioneer, we thank you. But we also want you to know that we turn right around and try to invest right back into your family farm to be able to make you more efficient, more profitable. But in particular, we are very sensitive to protecting your families, your children, the environment, our soils, our groundwater, as well as trying to find a way to feed the world. We thank you for wanting to participate with us in that aspect. Behind me, you see a drone. That is also something that we are working with this year in looking at spraying fungicides with a drone. Again, trying to make everyone more efficient, more timely, and more profitable. Hello, it's me again, Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. As you can see, this field behind me, it's grown very fast in just a matter of minutes. Uh, but no, it's, it's later on in the year. And I just wanna share with you real life scenario of what I was talking about with this disease model and the just the importance of it and the excitement behind it with me in particular, especially for our area, as we a lot of times will experience some heavy disease pressure years. So last night I received an email basically saying that this particular field, based on the management practice, the Pioneer Hybrid that's here, the amount of leaf wetness, the rainfall, temperatures, et cetera, that we should start seeing some disease moving into the lower canopy. Matter of fact, it was saying that there should be disease in the lower canopy. So I came out today to just to take a look and I just wanna share with you what I found. So as you see, this corn will soon be tasseling. And as we look at the top canopy, it looks very healthy. It's nice and green, just like we want. One would not think that there's really any issues, but when we go into the lower canopy, just like the disease model said, that's where we actually start to see the disease is actually present in the lower part of the canopy. So I'm gonna to continue to walk just so that you can see that this isn't just a random plant here or there, that there are actually multiple plants, almost every plant 
as you will see, has some gray leaf spot, which is exactly the disease that the model was saying should be here right now. So I'm excited about this research. I'm excited about what is, a, is getting ready to unfold, hopefully in the near future, um, that will benefit our families, our farms, and again, make you more efficient and more profitable in the end. So if you have any questions, obviously never hesitate to call. We thank you for your business and please reach out if you need anything at all. Thank you and have a wonderful day. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.